Okay, so you're wondering if you should perhaps disable comments on your website. So in WordPress, quite often if you don't have any spam protection, you actually get a ton of spammy comments just like this uh, all the time, just because especially the more popular your website gets as bots leave websites, leave comments on your website constantly. And one of the issues about that is if you do pop in a really good spam protection, often it can actually slow down your website and it just becomes a bit of a hassle. So even so, certain websites are just not suited to having comments available on them uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve with your WordPress website. So I'm gonna show you quickly today how you can disable comments on your website at a few clicks and also delete and bulk delete comments so you can clean things up and get them moving and looking the way you want. Now this is dead easy using a plugin uh, and also if you're using the Divi theme, which I talk about a fair bit on this channel, I'm gonna show you very quickly afterwards how you can disable comments on pages too. But for you, all of you using WordPress, not using Divi, we're gonna to go to plugins here and we're gonna click add new. And this is pretty simple. We just type in disable comments at the top here and we get this option here, which is by uh, WP developer. And we're gonna install that because we have some options. However, there are some other options here that are great too. They're all, uh, we can activate that. They're all very effective, but this particular plugin has been used by a lot of people. Uh, so it has a lot more sort of testing behind it, a lot more security behind it. And it's what I recommend. And you have a few more options. Now, once it's actually installed and activated, we go down to settings and to disable comments to see what our options are. And you can see here, we can actually just click disable comments everywhere in the website and be done with everything. However, maybe we wanna keep certain things going. So on specific post types, we can turn off say posts or media projects, products. We can turn off comments on those particular post types. And we have a few other options here such as disabling the avatar state from your site. So the avatar with the comments and a few other more advanced options. But when we're ready, we can do this to disable comments altogether and it will simply just turn comments off on the entire website. The other thing too is we can also delete comments. So if you actually want to get rid of all the comments on your site, you can delete again comments from everywhere on your website or you can simply just delete comments from certain pages or comment types such as order notes when it comes to things like orders. Um, and of course, permanently delete all the spam comments from your website. So uh, this I believe is actually simply to go into your spam section and delete everything out of the spam folder uh, not necessarily uh, going to find out what is spam or what isn't. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here to disable comments and we're going to select everywhere and we're going to go save changes. And now we're going to head out to the front end and see how that looks. Now I've opened up a blog post here and you can see I've got a comment that I've left here and the ability to submit another comment. And because I'm logged in, this is what I get. But when I switch over, you've got an empty box. So. It's all pretty much taken care of. Now, again, if you're using the Divi theme, uh, which I'm using on this website here, there are some other options as well. I mean, for one, if you're using the Divi theme builder, all you need to do is not build the comments into your layouts. But if we head back to our dashboard quickly, just so I can touch on this, we're going to Divi and theme options. If I go to, I believe it's layout, we have post and page layouts. Show comments on posts, you can just simply disable it. So that will actually turn off comments on your posts and the same if you want to do that to pages, turn that on or off, and that will turn off the comment functionality on your Divi pages or posts. So uh, now consider that if you still want to keep some kind of engagement going, you can simply link off to your social media profiles, even link directly to say a post that you've shared about this and get some conversations moving on say Instagram, YouTube or Facebook. So that way your social media is getting populated with conversation as well. Or you can just simply have no commenting and no interaction at all. It's pretty much up to you and how you want to run things. So that's the video for today. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos on our channel. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Otherwise, I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day.